Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. Now when I started out with this game, I had intended on doing a full review. However, after several hours of battling my own psyche and inability to continue on, I decided that the Technomancer was just not destined to be a good game and my continued beating my own head against a wall would simply not change that. Now, full disclosure, I was actually excited about this game and I was anxious to get my hands on it. Also, I did submit a request for review code for this game and was met with complete and utter silence. Which is not really a problem, it's pretty much understood that unless the developers are exceptionally kind YouTubers or they're indie devs, you're pretty much ignored unless you get to 25,000 subscribers or more. Which, at this time, I'm far from it. But, no harm, no foul. Uh, before we get into this polyp on the anus of humanity, though, let's take a look at the options menu. And here we are at the options menus. We have game controls, which do feature rebindable keys, keyboard and mouse, and gamepad. However, I do not believe you can rebind the gamepad keys. Uh, we have the controls options, keyboard and mouse, or gamepad, select, camera sensitivity, Y-axis, vibration on or off. Uh, game options, we have tutorials, on or off, difficulty, normal, easy, or hard. Subtitles, yes or no, damage display, full, partial, or none. UI horizontal position, UI vertical position. Your audio controls, you have uh, master volume, effects volume, music, and dialogue. Now video, here's the meat of it here. We have uh, the standard display modes, resolutions that do go all the way up to 4K. However, I don't have a 4K monitor, so we'll keep it right where it is. V-Sync on or off, uh, SSAA, shadows, SSAO, anti-aliasing, particles, texture quality, anisotropy, uh, dynamic resolution, and field of vision. Relatively robust video options menu and actually somewhat surprising. Now we have a brightness slider scale, and then, of course, the credits. That's it. Uh, slightly surprising that uh, they actually did put in as much effort into the video game options as they did. Unfortunately, there is no colorblind option here, which I always look for in a video game. That is not present here. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a surprise, but it's a nice-looking game. So let's get into the meat of it, shall we? So, Technomancer is a futuristic game set on Mars where, surprise, surprise, the corporations have taken over and water is the most precious resource. You play the Technomancer, uh, Zachariah Manser. No, I'm not kidding. That's, that's, that's really his name. Now, the Technomancers are a militaristic organization that works for the corporations and live in fear for the secret that they are mutants will be discovered. So basically, the main plotline starts you off in the movie Total Recall, where you play a character that may as well be what would result if you bred a Jedi with an electric eel and then gave him a metal stick. And the combat capabilities are about as effective, but we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, the game puts you through a series of ridiculous mobs before you fight even more ridiculous bosses as you try to stay one step ahead of the secret police using your electrified sticks and pathetic excuse for guns as you make your way through the game. Now, the game at first glance is quite lovely. With good graphics, good lighting effects, and fairly smooth gameplay, it showed a lot of promise. However, as I have said so many times before, great graphics do not a good game make, and unfortunately, this game falls very much into that trap. Pretty, but deceptively shallow with poor gameplay. Despite the surprising depth to the skill trees for progression, the game fails in a variety of areas. First off, the combat. The combat itself feels empty and without weight or meaning. You're either against opponents that can be killed in a single hit, or you're fighting a mob of more powerful opponents that are capable of finishing you off in just four or five hits, and that's nothing compared to the one or two hits that the bosses can finish you off in. Meanwhile, you're left flailing away at them in what feels to be absolute impunity and trying to dodge their attacks while you hit at them with a stick. A goddamn stick! Oh, you do have the option for a knife and a gun, but it's without a doubt the singularly worst gun I've ever had to deal with in a video game. It does less damage than your metal stick, and that is something I have a huge problem with in regards to these dystopian futures on other planets. It's the future, and yet you arm your characters like they're straight out of the Middle Ages. Except the people from the Middle Ages had better looking equipment. Give me Varix Crossbow Bianco over any of the weapons or powers from this game any day. 
Now, also, your Technomancer abilities are just like I said. It's like someone breeded with an electric eel. Again, lacking any semblance of substance, you muddle through this game feeling like you're controlling a lobotomized Jedi. Now, in addition to all that, the game's voice acting feels phoned in and completely lacking emotion. Whether by accident or design, I'm unsure, but this lack of depth only serves to underscore the blandness of the game. I am giving a better line delivery and emoting more than the people did in the goddamn game, and these people are supposedly trained actors. And me? I'm just a D-list internet celebrity with a tiny little YouTube channel. That's all I am, and I can do a better job than you? Fuck you. Also, later in the game, the voice acting seems to break down even further than that. Having people respond in seemingly random fashion like parts of the scenes were scooped out, but their reactions to those scenes were left in. This leaves you feeling like you're dealing with a planet full of bipolar schizophrenics who don't have access to proper medical care as you try to figure out what the hell is going on. Now, the gameplay is just simply not good. It's boring and sometimes just plain confusing. The voice acting is broken and dull, which only serves to take away from the game as a whole than add to it. Overall, the only thing I can see that this game got right was that it has good graphics and nice lighting effects, and a decent options menu. I tried to think of more positive things to say, but I just couldn't find them. So is the Technomancer worth it? Unfortunately, until the price drops or there's a sale on the game, I would have to give this one a pass. This is one more example where the devs came so close but just didn't quite get there. And from what I've heard of their previous titles, these are the same issues they had with those games as well, showing that they haven't learned from their mistakes at all, nor are they likely to from this instance. So, once again, this has been a look at Technomancer by Spider Games and published by Focus Home Interactive. It is available on Steam for $45 or your regional equivalent, although it is still currently on its release day sale, which expires in 12 hours. So that's pointless. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching. I am Sid Alpha, and I will see you next time. Hi there boys and girls, thanks for checking my video out. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe even that subscribe button. Trust me, it works really good. Don't forget to share with your friends and if you're interested in following me on Twitter and Facebook, the links for that are in the description down below. I also have a Patreon if you're interested in helping to support the growth of my channel and the link for that is down below as well. And once again, thanks for watching and supporting my channel guys. I really appreciate it.